Bella awoke, she felt an unusual presence within her. Confused and frightened, she sprang up, picked up a clay pot, and started running home. In the mystical village of Aqua, nestled between two great rivers and protected by ancient forests, lived a young virgin named Nala. Her breathtaking beauty was renowned throughout the land. Her skin shimmered like moonlight, her hair was dark and beautiful, and her eyes sparkled like stars on a clear night. Nala lived with her parents, Chief Kofi and Queen Ama, in a humble hut adorned with sacred symbols. She spent her days helping her mother with traditional crafts, learning the ways of the village, and communing with nature. Nala's days began at dawn, when the village was still wrapped in mist. She would rise from a humble hut, adorned with vibrant colors, and step into the crepe's morning air. With a clay pot balanced on her head, Nala would make her way to the village stream. The soft sunlight danced across her face as she walked, highlighting the contours of her elegant features. As she approached the stream, the gentle gurgle of the water mingled with the sweet songs of birds. Nala's heart swelled with joy. She felt one with nature. With each visit, Nala would sit by the stream, dipping her toes in the cool water. She would watch the fish swim lazily beneath the surface and listen to the rustling leaves. In those moments, Nala felt the presence of the divine. She would close her eyes, breathe deeply, and let the tranquility of the stream wash over her. One fateful morning, as Nala sat by the stream, she felt an unusual presence within her. She couldn't explain the sensation. She also felt an overwhelming fatigue, and before she knew it, she drifted off to sleep. When Nala awoke, she felt an unusual presence within her. Confused and frightened, she sprang up, picked up a clay pot, and started running home. Nala, what is wrong? Her mother, Queen Ama, asked. I, I, I don't know. Nala stammered. I slept at the stream, and now I feel very different. You slept at the stream? Why? What is your problem, this girl? I sent you to fetch water. You came back running with no water. And now you're saying you feel different. What is your problem? If you're feeling sleepy, go inside and sleep. But make sure first thing tomorrow, you fetch the water for me. Nonsense. Weeks passed and Nala started vomiting. Nala, what is wrong? Mama, I feel sick. Very sick. Her mother's expression changed from concern to shock. Nala. Could you be with child? Nala's eyes widened. No, it's impossible. I have never known a man. That means we have to visit Baba Jaja, the great powerful Dibia. He's the only one that can tell us what is happening. Because I don't understand. Time up, let's go. So they sought the wisdom of the great Baba Jaja, a sage and powerful spiritual leader. Nala. You are pregnant. Baba Jaja, I have never known a man. How can this be? Nala pleaded, tears streaming down her face. Baba Jaja listened attentively, his eyes twinkling with ancient knowledge. Child, this is no ordinary conception. The gods have chosen you. You will bear a child with extraordinary gifts, destined to bring prosperity and peace to our village. But why? Why me? Shut up. Do not question the ghost. Woman, take your daughter home and care for her. News of Nala's miraculous pregnancy spread like wildfire. Villagers gathered, whispering among themselves. A virgin with child? Impossible. Now, wow. Others defended Nala, citing the village history of miraculous events. As Nala's belly grew, so did the villagers' curiosity. They would visit her, seeking blessings and guidance. Some brought gifts, food, rare herbs, sacred stones, and handmade crafts. Nala's beauty only intensified with her pregnancy, and her glow illuminated the village. Papa Jaja revealed a prophecy to the entire village. A child born of a virgin shall bring forth a new era of harmony and abundance. The child's laughter will heal the sick and their tears will bring life to barren lands. The villagers rejoiced, believing Nala's child would fulfill the prophecy. Despite the excitement, Nala struggled with her newfound role. She felt isolated and unsure of what to expect, but her mother consoled her and also told her that her child will be a beacon of hope. Nala accepted her fate. 
she continued to visit the stream, finding solace in its tranquility. She also continued to assist her mother, weaving beautiful patterns and crafts. As her due date approached, the villagers prepared for the miracle child's arrival. Under the light of a full moon, Nala gave birth to a radiant boy. The villagers cheered, welcoming the prophecy's fulfillment. Baba Jaja named the child Kukwa, meaning born of the gods. As Kukwa grew, the village prospered, crops flourished, rivers overflowed with fish, and peace reigned. Kukwa's touch healed the sick, and his smile brought joy to the sorrowful. Years passed, and Kukwa grew into a wise leader. But one day, a wise old woman approached Nala. Nala! I know the truth. What truth are you talking about? I don't understand. Baba Jaja used charms to make you sleep at the stream. He led with you, impregnating you with Kukwa. What? Whether you believe it or not, that is the truth. I know Baba Jaja very well. His late wife was my sister, so I know his evil ways. Nala's world crumbled. She felt betrayed, deceived by the very person she trusted. That night, she confronted Baba Jaja, demanding answers. Baba Jaja smiled cunningly. I did what was necessary to fulfill the prophecy. Kukwa is the key to our village prosperity. You should be happy. I have transferred all my powers to him. Oh, Baba Jaja, you are wicked and evil. I will expose you. Expose me? The villagers will only laugh at you and Kukwa, so better have some dignity and keep it to yourself. Nala walked away crying, and Baba Jaja watched as he walked back to his hut, laughing, thinking his secret was safe. But the next morning, Nala gathered the villagers and exposed Baba Jaja's truth. The villagers gasped in shock. How could you, Baba Jaja? Nala's father asked. Baba Jaja's smile faded. I thought I was doing what was best for the village. I am getting old. I don't have a child of my own. I had to lay with someone. I have transferred all my powers to Kukwa. Suddenly, Kukwa stepped forward. My existence may have been born from the seat, but my purpose remains pure. I will lead this village with integrity and justice. Baba Jaja was banished from the village. Nala and Kukwa worked together to rebuild trust and restore harmony. Kukwa's leadership flourished, bringing unprecedented prosperity to the village. Nala found solace in her son's success and the love of her community. Deception and manipulation can have severe consequences. Baba Jaja's actions demonstrate the harm caused by dishonesty and exploitation. True leadership requires integrity and accountability. Kukwa's leadership shows that honesty, fairness, and responsibility are essential. Nala's unwavering support for Kukwa demonstrates the importance of unconditional love, truth, and transparency. Are essential. Exposing Baba Jaja's secret brings freedom and healing to the village. Actions have consequences. Baba Jaja's consequences serve as a reminder that actions have repercussions. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and share the story with your friends and loved ones. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. See you soon.